Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Raptor Dad Gaming, and in this video, I'm gonna show you some basic AI task functions that'll help you to practice against both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets. So, let's get it started. First, we're gonna look at adding aircraft and just having them orbit. Perhaps you don't want them to be very aggressive, you just want them to be out there so you can target them. So what we're gonna do is add an aircraft. We're gonna go ahead and go to edit. We'll click on this box here. We'll press edit again. We'll go perform task and then orbit. And that's it. At this point, they will orbit at this speed and altitude, which you can adjust as needed. Same thing, you can do that for ground forces as well. So let's go over here, press that, and let's add in a couple waypoints. Boom, boom, boom. And so we'll go edit, actually go add, perform task, and let's say go to waypoint. Their default is that they will be stationary, but let's say you want to track them mobile. If you have them go to a different waypoint, then you can basically know which way they'll be going. You can find them with your targeting pod, etc. So it's great practice in that sense. Next, we'll look at adding some specific functions for those aircraft. So in this case, we've got ourselves some A-10s over here and we're gonna have them attack some ground forces. Let's say we wanna practice scrambling. So I'll show you how to do that here from the get-go. We will make a brand new aircraft. We've got an A-10. You can see that CAST is already one of the mission sets. I'm gonna press edit, perform task. You can see we have both attack group and the attack the unit. So of course the unit being just one specific unit, whereas the group, they'll attack all the units within that, uh, within a group. So you just click on one area and that's it. So they will basically continue to attack that and then ultimately RTB once they are finished. So bring it a little bit closer there because I really want to scramble when I get there quick. Lastly, let's take a look at formation flying. So let me zoom back out here real quick. If you just want to practice some formation flying, the easiest way to do that is to take an AI and just map some waypoints. At that point, all you have to do is just fly with it. But let's say you want to do the opposite. Let's say you want to have an AI fly with you. So right here, you can see we already have one that's already mapped. So I'm going to show you how to add an AI and have it fly with you. First, you're gonna to wanna to add a waypoint so you can change their direction. There might be an easier way to do it, I'm not sure, but that's kinda of how I do it. From this point, you're gonna use the edit function a lot. All right, so I'm gonna move the aircraft over here a little bit. One thing to note is the AI perceives every aircraft with a bubble, a 360 degree bubble around it. If it gets too close to another aircraft, it'll take evasive action because it perceives that there might be a collision. So just be mindful of that. Next. We're gonna go ahead and go to edit. We're gonna perform a task, and then we're gonna go follow. And I'm gonna click the aircraft here just because it's the easiest thing to do. Whoops, I guess I must've missed it. Let's make it a friendly. Go ahead and click on this task, perform task, and we'll go follow. Not sure what happened there. And so now it's automatically following this aircraft. Now here are your key things to focus on, distance, about 80, 85 is kind of that range. If you want it to fly behind you, you know, if you want it to be like an echelon type formation, that's what we're gonna be setting up here. And these are kind of your bare minimums. Any closer than this, then the AI has a tough time staying close to you because it gets close to that bubble that we talked about before. Elevation, I like to have them drop about 15 degrees, so it's gonna be negative 15 degrees. I like to be a little bit lower than us. And then interval, is essentially where the aircraft is placed to your left, right, or perhaps to your center. If you want it directly behind you, it would put it at zero. If you want it, let's say, to your left echelon, it would be negative 100. If someone else knows a little bit more about that, because I noticed that the default is like 600, that seems kind of strange to me if this truly is based on a radial. But if you want it on your left side, it'll be negative. If you want it on your right side, it'll be positive. So just to kind of show you what I mean by that, you see this one is already programmed to follow and these are the parameters for it. So I actually need to drop this one down to negative 10 as well. There we go. And then lastly for the formations, you can have it follow you to the last waypoint. 
or you can have it follow you indefinitely to where it'll even try to land with you. Now if you do land, it'll orbit, I believe, one time above your location and it'll try to land itself once it's bingo fuel. So those are your basic functions for the AI in regards to performing tasks. So let's take a look and see what we have. Okay, so we spawned in with the F-15 so we can see how the formation is tracking. And you see this is actually a better option for formation flying as it's a little bit closer than your standard options. And you see how close that F-15 is to our left. You see the other guys kind of making a way in there. Accelerate time a little bit so you can see what the end state is. And boom, there we go. Nice tight formation there. Of course, it looks a little wonky at times when you're maneuvering because, you know, AI is just trying to interpret what's going on and what your actions are. But here we are. That's the formation flight. Next, we'll take a look. we got our two A-10s out here. One should be uh, getting ready to bear down on the target here soon. we got our F-16 that's orbiting. You see it's in the turn there. And then we've got our other A-10 out here as well. It's making its way toward that ground target. And that is it. So we've got everything working as it should. If you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. It will definitely keep the content flowing. Wrapped that out. Thanks for watching.